I just did a video walking up through here and through that big uh, like food fair thing that they're having over here. Tons of people. And um, I, don't, I forgot to point out that there's absolutely no police. No police. There was some further up the road directing traffic, but there's none in the area where all the food is being bought and uh, sold. But we already figured this out the other day. The reason they're not there is because if they were there and they had to intercede in some altercations and bust people, then it would go into the police log. If there's nothing in the police log, then nothing happened. It, it won't be in the uh, won't be in the media, and uh, they don't have to. Uh, and no reports are made. So uh, yeah, there's no crime happening. <clears throat> Bravo, excellent work. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it is if someone else has a, an alternate theory. Um, I'd love to hear it, but I, I, think we, uh, I think we figured out why they're not around. If they're not around, nothing goes into the police log, nothing into the police log, then um, everything's, uh, everything's fine, right? We're gonna we're gonna just walk back through here too, and uh, take a look here. Whoa, fucking uh, a crazy homeless person! I guess stop calling them homeless people out here because they're not homeless. Homeless implies that you're looking for a place to live. These dudes out out here are not looking for a place to live. They've chosen the lifestyle of just uh, harassing people, like they're unhappy, miserable, and they want to spread it. Now, like, because, I mean, I just think about myself, right? Oh, excuse me, sorry. If you, um, if I was homeless, I became homeless. And there are plenty of people in this country every day that are becoming homeless through no fault of their own. They're just getting priced out of this world. Now, uh, I wouldn't, I would kind of be, not hiding away, but I, I, I wouldn't be sitting out in the public uh, yelling at people. You know, and I think a lot of people that are homeless, meaning they're looking for a new home, they're, you know, trying to work the system. They're making phone calls. Uh, they're, they're somewhere where not everybody can see them. Yeah. But if, uh, if you're not looking for a home and you've chosen this lifestyle of just grifting and uh, taking from people, stealing from people and harassing them, then you come out here. These guys out, out here are not, they're not looking for a home. You know, they're, they're, this is it. This is their life. This is their lifestyle. And, um, you know, they, they, they run rampant up here because cops aren't here. And as we've established before, so it's settled science, they won't mess with them even if they saw them. It's, they're afraid. And, and, and it's fine, you know. Fear is, you know, if you're scared, you're scared. That's okay. You know, I had a friend here that used to talk about how, when they talked to the cops, like, you know, real crime is coming. You know, you guys haven't had real crime here. And they haven't. So what happens is it's a mix of uh, inexperience and shock. You know, they, they don't usually have to deal with the kind of stuff that's happening now. You know, and they don't know how to. And I tell you, man, a lot of the cops, too, that there's a lot of women and a lot of little guys. And if some fucking psychotic homeless person is going ham attacking people or throwing garbage around they don't want to get they don't want to get involved with that because ultimately then they have to put them in their car and they don't want them in their car because they're going to stink the car up fucking nice car to some people I've had nicer cars let's put that up there again yes it's wonderful but uh, I noticed when I was coming up through here that no one was on Stinky Beach Stinky Beach is the area up here that's been uh that they've allowed the homeless to kind of take over. You know, open drug use. Um, basically just heckle people walking by, try to start shit. Usually, like, I just ignore them, they, and they try to start shit with me, but the thing is, uh, I just keep walking. The other night was a rarity. The guy chased me down the street to to continue his, uh, his homeless madness. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, if, you, if you're a normal person, you get priced out of your house, you're trying to find a new place, you wouldn't be out here in front of God and the whole world just being dirty, fucking being an asshole, and yelling, and, and just yelling people to walk by. It's not right. It's not right. The cops, and the, like, you know, cops don't do anything about it. These are the only police over here now. There's one, one cruiser, and there's one cop directing traffic. But we walked through this whole area here, coming up here. Um, you can see it in the other video. There's no police officers among that very thick crowd. Zero zilch. I sound like a broken record, I know. We've already figured out why that is. And we, you know, already talked about it within the last five minutes, so we're gonna just let that go. But uh, it's still kind of crazy. I wonder if other states do that too. I'm sure they do. Like, don't go over to that area. Yeah, well, they do. They have no go sections in a lot of places now. A lot of cities have uh, had large portions of them taken over by street mutants. I got to remember street mutants because they're not homeless. Homeless people, families that got priced out of their home and are on the phone trying to fucking pull things together or find a place to be, they're not the problem. You know, they're... They're somewhere else. They're, they're not out here antagonizing people and stealing from them and uh, trying to grip and having little freakouts, throwing garbage at children, no women. You know, that, that's, um, you wouldn't be doing that. If you don't plan on having a home and this is your lifestyle, you've chosen to be this kind of person, then it's different. So they're, they're not really homeless people. They're not looking for a home. You know, I've had guys that I've known, uh, when I, I used to have a, quite a few um, friends that, that were nomadic. And, um, and, they, and a few of them got homes. One of them's still in them. Actually, my friend John, who ended up getting housing, he lives over here somewhere. I think uh, like the next left, maybe. And then I had a guy that I let stay at my house for a while. Yeah, it's, it seems like I'm always shit-talking the homeless, but uh, I was... I was like fucking outreach guy when I first moved here. I was doing all kinds of shit. Running around at night, passing out blankets, bringing them back to the house to use the, uh, the facilities, have my wife cook for them, who, uh, she used to do the same thing when, when she grew up here. She'd always be bringing homeless people to stay in the house, and her mom used to give her shit. I thought I was doing a good thing. And then after a while, you realize, oh wait, this guy's just up here trying to figure out how he can get back in here and steal whatever I have in here. But anyway, I had this guy that I was let stay with me for a while. Cool guy. Just had like, he, you know, he got fucked over and he was kind of had a drug problem. So he finally got housing and he must have been in there. I, I guess six months would be being generous. And he fucked it up. He fucked it up by uh, getting his neighbors upset because he was allowing street mutants in. And the mutants would come in there and um, make trouble, do drugs, and then it was making an unsafe environment for the neighbors. So he got kicked out. He lost his housing. And the next couple of times I saw him, he was like the happiest he's been. I'm like, oh man, that sucks. He goes, ah, whatever, you know, I'm doing this, I got this. And he's just talking about his like street gains, you know, the stupid little things he got. Um, but like a lot of the guys I used to know that were homeless, once the, the lockdowns happened, uh, fucking I've never seen him again. Never seen him again. It's like I said, uh, I think yesterday, the day before, a lot of the older guys are gone. And most of the, the mutants you see out here now are young guys. Uh, a lot of California types, you know. Um, Yeah, they're not homeless. The implication when you use the term homeless is that you are out of a home, you're looking for a home. These guys are not looking for a home. They're looking to uh, shatter contentment, uh, harass people, steal from them, steal from each other. They're all very, very low vibrational individuals trapped in depression, a lot of anger, a lot of jealousy. The jealousy is a big problem because uh, they see just the, uh, you know, average, any any Joe walking by, 
who looks like he's uh, he doesn't stink, and they get all mad. You know, they get they get upset about that. What do you think you're fucking great? Cause you have a you have a roof over your head. <laughs> it's bizarre, man. It's bizarre. But yeah, not not a not a big presence of not a big mutant presence out there tonight. I don't know. It's just still early though. I'll be back out again. Uh, I it might be good for demon spotting. I don't know though. Um, there's a lot of lights on down by the. Uh, down by that food kind of festival area, which usually um, which usually keeps them away. Lights will keep them away. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out together. Don't blame the teacher. Blame the school. <laughs>